Welcome to season 8 of Hashtag Road Trip in with Rocky presented by Tamil Nadu Tourism and what a beautiful day it is. We are headed from incredibly beautiful Kanyakumari to Thirunel Valley where I believe there are few unique dishes that you may or may not have eaten before. They are greatly beloved. The cuisines of Thirunel Valley are famous. It's a beautiful place to go and eat something. But that we'll do when we get there. For now, take a look at this incredible spot. Tamil Nadu is very big on renewable clean wind energy. These turbines that you see behind me spin with the wind and produce energy. Some days during the months of May to October, which is the real season where the monsoon winds come in from the oceans, the strong winds that these turbines turn and generate electricity, you can get over 100 million units in Tamil Nadu. And that is the way going forward. So, Beautiful place. As you drive between the highways of Tamil Nadu, keep your eyes open. You're liable to see lots of wind farms like this. You're also liable to see beautiful farmlands. Tamil Nadu is blessed by natural beauty. And if you take a look around me, see those hills just covered by thick green forests, kissed by the clouds above. Beautiful windy morning. This is the time to get to Thirunel Valley and enjoy those specialities I was talking about. Let's go and eat something because the open road beckons. Welcome to Thirunal Valley and when you get over here, all roads lead to the famous Thirunal Valley Halwa. There are many shops over here selling Thirunal Valley Halwa, but the story goes like this. About 200 years ago, uh, the mighty king of Thirunal Valley wanted something extraordinary. So chefs came in from Rajasthan and made him a halwa and he took one bite and he was floored. He was like, wow, what a flavor, what taste. In fact, the story goes that the chefs were really impressed themselves because the taste of the halwa was extraordinary. So wondering why it's so good and then it was realized. It is because of the water of the river Tamra Barani and because of the air of Thirunal Valley that the halwa becomes as tasty as it does. So if you want to make Thirunal Valley halwa in your home and make it as tasty as it is in Thirunal Valley, you have to get water from the Tamra Barani river and you have to get the air over here. Albeit, it's a little hectic right now, but this sweet shop is in the middle of the action and Shanti Sweets, which started in 1976, is a great representative of the Thirunal Valley Halwa. So let's get down, get some halwa and some sweets and talk more about it. Come, come, come. And when you really want to find out about the popularity of a place, try and placing a complex order like this over here where people are coming and going in large numbers. But anyway, we have always succeeded in bringing you the best. And this is the best of Thirunal Valley. We have got Badusha. A famous sweet over here, absolutely delicious. Uh, we've got the ladoos, very simple, very nice. We've got the Sohan Papri, one of my favorites. Look how layered that is, how beautiful. We've got very nice Kesar Burfi over here. We've got plain Burfi over here. And we've got Mysore Pak over here. Now Mysore Pak is very different over here. It's really hard, really stiff. But the main hero is the one that is running around in this tray, slip sliding its way to glory. Come towards me, come towards me. And this is the Turunal Valley Halwa. So first, we don't want to wait for too long, so we take a bite and look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Ah. Mm. The closest texture you can come to in the north is called Karachi Halwa. In the south, Turunal Valley Halwa. Mm. It is glutinous like this. It breaks apart in shreds. Mm. Oh, oh, let me enjoy that. Mm. Mm. Now I know why Thirunal Valley Halwa is so famous. Absolutely delicious. It is gentle. It is soothing. It is very mild, low on sugar. The way of making it, very, very simple. They take wheat juice, as they say. So it's wheat, a juice, a fluid is made out of the wheat fermented for 24 hours and then the next day sugar is added so you only have wheat and sugar and ghee and vanaspati and that is all that there goes into it and then it's cooked for about two hours dry fruits are added and Tirunal Valley Halwa is ready absolutely spot on you cannot come here and not have this so all that remains is to eat lots of Tirunal Valley Halwa when you are over here and of course make a note you get the most incredible banana chips in Tenkasi only 65 kilometers from here towards Kerala, so you head west. And over there also you get a border parota there. 
which is on the border of Kerala and Tamil Nadu. Very special. Oh, I wish I could share some. Take a bite, take a bite.